You probably heard this word floating around, didn't know how to pronounce it, or didn't even know what it was. The word qi is pronounced qi, and it's Chinese for life force or vital energy. It's probably the most important concept in feng shui, or traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, because it could potentially determine how well you focus, perform, and succeed in life. What if I told you that you can keep your qi at its optimal levels at all times with just a few tweaks in your everyday life? If you want to know where your qi is currently and learn three tips on how to increase your qi, stay tuned. I'm Susan Chan, Certified Feng Shui Consultant, helping you create a beautiful intentional space and a beautiful intentional life. If you want to learn about all things Feng Shui related set in the beautiful city of Paris, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications for when I publish new videos about living an intentional Feng Shui life. Think of Qi as your energy tank. Ideally, you would like your tank as close to full as possible at all times and keep it there so you don't feel burnt out and exhausted. Remember the last time you felt that way? I do. I'm sure that you got sick or were so tired you weren't able to play with your kids or were so exhausted you couldn't finish that important project. You wasted precious time and money. When was the last time you felt energized and invigorated? When was that? Take a moment, close your eyes, and on a scale of 1 to 10, ask yourself where your energy or your chi is right now. If you're under a 6, I would suggest you take the following actions to bring your chi back up to a 7 and keep it there. According to TCM, everything is made up of chi, including all people and objects. Chi is circulating within our body and all around us at all times. In order to have optimal physical and mental health, it's imperative for a person to have balanced chi. According to Feng Shui, in order to have harmony at home, the chi of the home must also be balanced. If you need energy right now to accomplish a goal, here are three tips to cultivate more chi and maintain it throughout your day. One, Get back to nature. Feng Shui believes that nature contains powerful life force, which is why the ancient art looks to bring nature into your home. If you're lucky enough to have enough time to fit in a nice walk or swim in nature, please do. Reminding yourself that you're absorbing the chi energy from these natural environments. If you only have a quick minute, make sure you always have something natural nearby that you can connect to using one of your five senses. Have a bouquet of flowers that you can smell. Have a photo of that favorite vacation or landscape so that it instantly transports you into that moment. Find a YouTube video of birds singing. Collect some smooth rocks or crystals that you can hold in your hand. Or pop a few fresh berries in your mouth where you can experience the rush of sweetness. Don't underestimate the power of your five senses. Have a hearty good laugh. When you laugh, your vocal cords vibrate, your heart rate increases, sending more oxygen to your brain, your eyes tear up and your muscles contract and release. Your feel-good endorphins are released into your body. Altogether, these sensations move chi around your body, which is helpful when you're experiencing a mid-afternoon slump. My suggestion is to have some short and funny YouTube videos on hand for a quick chuckle. Tip number three, take short breaks throughout the day to do some intentional movements or breathing exercises. Ideally something that breaks a sweat because that creates heat, which is an important element of chi. And checking emails or social media is not a chi generating break. Watch this next video to learn a chi boosting exercise for when you're feeling low in energy. Now get up and do one of these things. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity.